Hello everybody, and welcome back to Richard's Gameplay. I'm back in VR again, with uh, a game that's been out for a while. It's called uh, Tethered. Um, I only recently found out that this game existed, so I saw some gameplay and I thought it was really fun to do. So. I thought maybe we will check this out. It's um, not as uh, fast paced as my Iron Man gameplay that's on my channel at the moment. Um, that's also something that I will continue of course, but um, in the meantime it's now Sunday afternoon so I thought well maybe it's time to do some relaxing game. Not too excited uh, in the gameplay, I think. But let's see what uh, what we have, what we can do. I thought it was only a um, normal DualShock 4 that you can control this stuff with, but you can also do this with the move control. So I will pick those up because I think it's a little bit more immersive. So you can bear with me for a second. Okay, he he, de he detects my uh, move controls. Now let's switch hands, of course. You can see my hands, they are really translucent. <laughs> oh, that's nice, so cute. Okay, let me see where is uh, the pointer. It's there. Okay, well, let's start the game. And let's see what we have. Okay, we have the tutorial. So that's something that I will go through, of course. And we have one, two, three, four different islands. But let's um, do the tutorial first. Okay, it's my starting point, a gentle introduction, but packed with useful information to help you through the first island. Okay, we have fields, barracks, a moot hall, workshop, and a temple. And keep your food stores well stocked. Okay. Wake up, spirit guardian. Wow. They need your help. Looks so awesome. I really am floating in the sky. Yeah, motion controls. Hold your hands up to your face and look at your palms. Wait until you see your motion controls appear. Ah, there they are. <laughs> nice. Move viewpoint is the trigger button. Okay, I can... Uh, I can uh, let them reappear again or something. Alright, I can move my perspective. I can do this. Oh, that's nice. I'm crawling around the floor. To rotate your viewpoint, hold down both the trigger and the right trigger to rotate your hands. As if you are turning a wheel. Try this now. Okay, I can... Let's back up a little bit. You can rotate left and right okay awesome now to make your presence in the world larger or smaller hold down the left and the right and pull your hands apart or bring them together as you play an accordion this will change the speed at which you can move the viewpoint around the world try this now note scale preferences can be changed in the option okay so it's like playing the accordion okay so i can go move forward and backwards right hold your hands up to your face look at your palms and wait until you see your motion controls appear okay 
Note the location of the X button, it's your action button. Yes. Tether, tether. Okay. Let's get back. Uh, you can change your view quickly by jumping to clouds. Point at the cloud and press. Okay, so you can move around like this. Or you can move around like this, of course. You can hold the terrain. Okay, to make things easier for you, I'm going to restrict your view to just clouds for a while. If you, um, I'll let you know when you have free mo movement again. Okay, got it. Yes, for the tutorial, of course. Oh wow! There it comes, the first egg. Everything starts with an egg. Blue eggs are good. Brown eggs are bad. A little warmth for speed hatching. Okay. This is a sun cloud. Yes, I see it. It brings heat and brings a light to your land. Tell the sun to the egg to warm it. Point at the sun cloud. Press the X and hold the X. Okay. And let's tether it to the egg. Yes. Nice. Uh, so good. Oh, I have my first peep. <laughs> Sorry. This is a peep. Peeps are loyal servants who live to do your bidding. Tell this peep to the overgrown obelisk. Now let's see what he does with that. So, cool to see. Nice. Hold your hands up to your face, okay. Let's see the move controls again. Absorb spirit energy. Okay, I've absorbed five spirit energy. Spirit energy is stored in the totem, healing the land and turning it lush and green. Collect enough spirit energy to release your fellow spirit guardians. This is your goal. Got it. Pretty nice. Uh, now that's over and done with. You can uh, you now uh, you can have your motion control back. Feel free to explore the world, but keep an eye out for more tutorial text. Hop back to a cloud if you ever get a bit lost. Well, I don't think we. Okay, when peeps want to tell you something, they send you a prayer. This prayer means your peep is hungry, and peeps must eat regularly. Okay, got it. Tell the peeps to food and they will bring it to the store. If uh, there is food in the store, hungry peeps will eat it. Okay, so I have to. Oh, I, uh, he also. Um... Let's, let's uh, send him to the food. The toadstool, uh, wait a minute. Okay, I did, I did, uh, I made a mistake, I think. But he will get what, uh, what we need. Let's get there. Ooh. Um. Whoa. Very close up and personal. Uh, this is so nice to see. Oh, okay, let's do this. Let's get my perspective back.
Okay, we'll put it in there. You get it food, always uh, try and keep food stars well stocked. Um, if stars are empty, hungry peeps will eventually fall into despair. Okay, got it. Peeps will also descend into despair if they have no purpose. Uh, this prayer means peep has nothing to do, keep them busy or face the consequences. Okay, this is injured. Injury will heal over time. Okay, so I, I can't uh, actually heal them. Okay, that was the next one. Now tether your peep to the egg. Uh, tether your peep to the egg to in incubate it. Um, point at your eggs and hold. Okay. Let the brooding commence. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, it's a little bit easier to go from uh, cloud to cloud. That's a pretty big world. <laughs> That's so nice to see. Wow. I can turn it every way around. I'm so happy with uh, the move controllers in these kinds of games. Crystals all, uh, crystal are spirit energy in solid form. Use peeps to gather them, gather and return them to the totem. Okay, you cannot do that, of course. Crystals, where are the crystals? Uh, this ah, is a cold cloud. Freeze over the the lake, and you can pick up the crystal. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with uh, the game so far. And it's only been a few uh, minutes that I am playing this, and you can take some food. Yes. Give me the point. You have to look at uh, the points to get them. Uh, as the totem acquires spirit energy, its power heals uh, the land, turning it lush and green. Healing the landscape will reveal artifacts and building sites. Okay. Artifacts. Reveal the secrets of the buildings to the peep. This is one teaches them how to construct fields. Tell the peep there to acquire this knowledge. Okay, let's uh, let him acquire the knowledge or her. Nice. Now you can gather that one. Field knowledge. Healing the landscape as a refield. A building site. Tell the peeps here to construct a field, but first you need resources. Got it. Bountiful boulders, metalliferous minerals, and towering trees. Okay, what to have to do? Let him get. Towering trees, maybe. Oh, we have two more.
He's going to hatch that one. And is there a cloud with sun in the in the neighborhood? No, that's uh, too bad. Oh, this one is getting brown. So that's first. He's going to hatch it. Okay, I thought it was a brown uh, one. Now you can gather some stuff, you too. And everybody has a job, the building. To build the field uh, here, you will need uh, to gather woods. Yes, and that was, um, I think, the wood. Okay. It's uh, getting busy with four peeps uh, already. Grub brown eggs are bad eggs and hatch into grubs. Grubs will crawl to the edge of the island. They make a tasty and nourishing snack. Okay, got it. Now you can uh, fight against it. Nice one. Okay, he has got some eggs. Okay. Can we do something? I hear something. You have enough wood to build a field. Tether the peep to the building site and choose field from the building menu. Um, let me see if there is. Uh, I have to keep an eye on my um, playtime as well because I pre record this, of course. So I can um, upload it and maybe. Uh, there will be enough to do a live stream some some at some point. Um, let me see what we have to do. Okay, this is the um, the other one. Can I see some? Can I see a move controls, please? No, I can see my move controllers. Oh, there is the field, of course. Oh my god. Okay, we can build the field. Yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming at first. Oh, there's another egg. You can hatch the egg there. Uh, tell the people to fields to harvest food, tell the sunshine to regrow the crop. Got it. Now lift your hands again to see your motion controller appear. Notice the show button. You can access useful information on buildings, peeps, critters and resources by pointing them and holding the triangle button. Okay, this artifact teaches your peeps how to uh, build a barrack. Let me 
see what you can do. You can go there. that one you can get that one you can get that one okay so everybody is working again I have to keep an eye on um, on everybody but it's so nice to to play this game I'm really enjoying it And it's so relaxing, it's so immersive. You are really in the world. Uh, you need to collect this artifact. Okay, you need to collect an artifact. But how do your peeps reach it? Okay, you can learn what we have to do. I have to gather some stuff some crystal energy all right 52 already you have a rain cloud let's rain uh, on the field no, not not on <laughs> let's rain come on ah. The rain cloud disappears. Uh, okay, wet weather. Feed that one. Okay. Don't have nothing to do. I'll switch to my other hand, not my dominant hand. Okay. I always get confused with the um, Controls. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay, everybody is uh, standing still. Can you get something here? So two standing still. Okay, let's um, check this one. But the plant is in the way, so I don't know how to get that out of the way. Maybe I have to grow this.
Ah, wet weather maybe. Ah, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. That I didn't see that earlier. But um, you have nothing to do. Well, you go, you go there. Okay, we all see the names. Mushroom. Fruits. Are full. Okay, another one. There are a lot of peeps now. So it's... Uh, you have to keep an eye on every one of them. Yes, he is learning. Or she is learning. Ah, okay. I know the barracks. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, this, this field... It's empty. Night approaches. Um, at night, creatures emerge looking to feed on resources, crystals, and peeps. Prepare your peeps by constructing a barracks here. Okay, so I have to get. Uh, let me see. Barracks. Built. Do we need two or is one enough? Oh, this looks so good. Let's hatch uh, the egg. For each barrack you build. Two peeps can be promoted into heroes. Promote the peep, tell it to the power totem. All right. Now let's um, tether one. Farmer, prospector, woodsman, hero. Oh, that's so nice. Promote. And that will promote you as well. And. I will let you fight that one. Uh, critters are approaching. Tell the peeps to critters to fight. Okay, where are the critters coming from?
okay. My health. I did the right way. Uh, why is this still standing here? You can go back to the fields. You can go back there. No, there is nothing to build at the moment. Okay. You survived the first night. Subscri uh, subscribe to night. Critters become stronger, bolder, and more numerous. Okay. Now we have to find the artifact. Watchtower as uh, the mother of all catapults to the roof of the barracks. Man the catapult with the peep. Each shot costs stone resources. Okay. Um, let me see. This is a rain cloud. Let's go the, the trees a little bit more. Well done, you find resources are running out too quickly, you can upgrade them, tether a peep to these trees and hold the X button until the icon changes, then releases, then release. Okay. Let me see what happens. Now we can make some other pumpkin patch, poppy field or potato field. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Okay. It's good. Um, okay, we have to... Let me see. Let's do this. Okay, we have to build a plantation. Okay, this one uh, is building the plantation. Let's speed it up a bit. Another artifact. This one teaches peeps how to build a mood hall. Okay. Let's go there. Yes, I'm coming. I think it's uh, for the... Um, you can go all there. Mood hall knowledge. Okay, we need resources. We need 12 stones, I think. As if a civil building that allows peeps to take up crafts and professions, each mood hall builds allow promotion of two peeps, okay? You have a tavern, a clock maker, a clock maker and a hatchery. Okay, um, well we need to find stone, I think. See what uh, what he does. I don't think he does anything. Metal. Okay. Let's go to the stone. Let's go to the stone, and let's go to the stone. Everybody is happy again. Let's see if we can speed it up a bit. Yeah, 
It's such a nice game to play. Um, I hope you en you enjoy it too when you are watching uh, the recording. Okay, let's see. Can we do something now? Yes, we can build the moot hall. Moot hall, or how it is called. Speed up the process a bit. Now each moot hall uh, allows you to turn two peeps into craftsmen. Tether a peep to a totem and choose a profession. Each type of craftsman is better at working a particular particular resource. Okay, that's um this one. Um let me see, can we promote him to well, promote him to quarry, quarry man. Good choice. Uh, tether quarry man to the outcrops and they will harvest stone more efficiently. Let's go there. Let's have we here. Now we can build a quarry as well. So let's uh, do that. Whoa, what's that? The sapphire. Oh, a new weather type. This is sapphire. A gush of wind that isn't just there to replenish or resources. Try tethering it to a moving peep and see what happens. Okay. build a tavern. I was busy with the um nice but I still don't know why the um bar barracks knowledge is still there. Your first tavern. In times of trouble, tether peeps to the tavern to have a nice cold pint and wait for everything to blow over. Stress is removed and wounds healed. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yes, that's very nice. So we can heal our peeps. Now we can make a watchtower. So let's make a watchtower as well. And let's tether this one. Now the four basic weather types are complemented by two advanced forms, rainbows. Tether two basic weathers together to make a rainbow. One of these must be the sunshine. And the lightning, tether two basic weather uh, together to make lightning. And neither can be sunshine. Try making advanced weather now. Okay. Let's see. We can do something. I can't. Ah, that's finally gone. See what happens when we combine these two. Yes, yeah, the rainbow. Rainbows are cool. Tell them to peeps to heal stress and wounds. Okay. Wow. I'll give him a, a good day. Ah. Oh, this is so so positive game. I'm feeling pretty um, pretty happy now. 
Uh, if you need to know the time of day, how many peeps and buildings you have, or other useful information, just look at the totem and press the triangle. All right. Okay, 43 minutes uh, into the gameplay. I thought it was longer, but okay. We are not at full time. Resources, nice. Craftsman. I still need one more craft craftsman. Okay, let's get into the. Um, Yes, I'm coming. Okay. You now have everything you need uh, to tame the islands. There is much more to discover, buildings to construct, and many more uses for weather. Remember, spirit energy, okay, and the rest. All right, but this is still, but this is still the tutorial. So I think this was the tutorial. Or can I uh, move on, maybe? No, I think... Um I thought that was something going on. Now oh, there is something that is full already. It's a good catapult. Okay, you can heal there, you can also heal there. Uh, 
I'm not sure what this does, but... Let's see what happens, maybe... Uh... Oh no. The field is gone. Now we have to uh, rebuild. Uh... Okay, there's. Okay. So that's something that I don't uh, that I um, must not do again. Okay, I played 50 minutes and 29 seconds. The Spirit Guardian uh, released on day 3. So the tutorial is complete. So that will be a nice way to end this gameplay. While uh, the peeps are worshipping me. Uh, let me tell you, um, this game is awesome to play. I really recommend it you can find it in the uh, PlayStation Store like I said it's um, it's been out for some time sometime um, I think it was 2016 or something like that but it plays great it has a, a, a real warm you, you get a real warm feeling when you play this so um, I highly recommend that you check this out um, I will continue my gameplay of course to show you some more awesomeness in Tethered. But um, for now, I thank you very much for watching. If you like this, you can always click a like, a like on it, put a thumbs up, and I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel so I can grow a little bit more and hopefully share some more VR gameplay with you because it's an awesome way to play games. It really puts you in the middle of the game. So, once again, thank you for watching. And bye for now.